Hi, this is Ian from Key Stage Fun, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create custom spelling lists in our new Squeebles Spelling Connect app and assign them to your children, as well as a few more things around creating and managing spelling lists and words. Okay, let's get started. So, if we sign into the parent teacher zone within the app and then tap the words and lists tab at the top of the screen, we get taken to this page here, which is split into two sections. The first section shows all our key stage fun spelling lists. These are lists we've created for you to use based around the UK curriculum. There are over 160 individual lists split across four different levels, with each level getting progressively more difficult. Level one contains words children would generally learn first in reception or year one, with level four being words children would likely not be expected to learn until years five and six. But this is obviously different for different children and we don't refer to school years or ages within the app for that reason. These lists are all available to every child when they sign into the app, so you don't have to assign them to each child for them to be able to access them. They can log in, find the list they'd like to attempt and work their way through the words at their own pace. You can lock whole levels on a per child basis via their settings to avoid children having access to words that are much too easy for them or much too difficult. Going back to the words and lists section of the parent teacher zone, the second tab here gives you access to your own custom spelling lists. These are lists you've created yourself and can contain any words you want. So this is where you can really customize the app for each child. Creating a new spelling list is a two step process. First off, tap the add button in the top right of this screen and give your list a title. Then decide which of your children to assign it to. In the case of school accounts, you can also decide which teachers are allowed to view or edit the list. Once you've saved the list, the second part of the process is then adding words to it. And you can either do that immediately after saving your new list by pressing this button, or from the My Lists page by tapping the Add Words button next to the list you've just created. And that will take you to this screen where you can add your words. Tap the add a word button in the top right of the screen to launch the word picker tool. Start typing the word you want to add to your spelling list and suggestions will appear here from our word library that match what you're typing. If you see the word you're looking for appear, you can select it and it'll be added to your spelling list. If the word doesn't exist already in our library, you can add the word anyway. You'll just need to type the whole word out yourself and tap the add button to add it. Each of the 8,500 or so words we've included in the app already has an audio clip associated with it. Now this is what your children will hear played back to them when being asked to spell the word. So unless you actively want your children to hear you reading the word instead, you don't have to do anything at all for any of these already included words. If the manage audio button is green, our pre-recorded audio will be what your children hear. And you can check if you're happy with that by pressing the play button next to each word. For a word that's not in our word library, like here where we added the Italian city of Naples to our holiday spelling list, there will be no pre-recorded audio, which will be highlighted by the Manage Audio button being red. And you will have to record the audio yourself for these words. You can also choose to record your own audio for any of our pre-recorded words. You may want to do this if you prefer your children hear the word in your voice, which is helpful if your child's used to a specific regional accent that would make our audio seem less familiar. OK, so just quickly before getting into how we use the app to record audio, it's worth highlighting that this functionality is not currently supported on the web browser version of the app. We're hoping to introduce this in the future, but for now you need to use the Apple iOS or Android version of the app to record audio clips. You'll also need to make sure the app has permission to access the microphone on your device, and there's information in the support section of our website on how to do this. Right, on to how you record your own audio. First, tap the Manage Audio or Missing Audio button next to a word and the audio recorder window will open. To start recording, tap the record button and speak your word clearly. Pizza. Once you're done, tap the stop button to stop recording. 
You can now listen back to what you've recorded and if you're not happy with it, you can re-record it. Once you are happy, press the save and close button to close the recorder and return to your spelling list. As you can see, the manage audio button has now turned orange, which represents the word having your custom audio as its default audio that your children will hear. Now, if you've recorded your own audio for one of the words we've already provided audio for and want to revert to the word using our original audio, just delete the audio you've recorded. You can do this as well as re-record your audio by tapping the manage audio button again to open the audio recorder. Okay, a couple more things before we finish. First of all, case sensitivity. Each word in a spelling list has a case sensitivity setting represented by this little button here. This can be switched on or off for any word in your list. It's off by default, and if you switch it on for a particular word, your children must spell the word with the exact same capitalization for it to be marked as correct. So for example, where we've entered Italy with a capital I here, if we switch case sensitivity on for that word and they spell it without capitalizing the I, it will be marked as incorrect. Finally, returning to the My List screen, there are a few other things it's worth highlighting. You can edit the words in your list using the Edit Words button and the title of the list or who it's assigned to using the Edit button here. You can also make a copy of the list from here as well as delete lists that you no longer need. The only other thing to mention from this page is the Set as Homework button. There'll be a separate video about setting homework assignments as there's a fair bit to cover, but the short version is that you can use this button to create an assignment for your children based on the words from this list. Okay, that just about covers everything you could need to know about creating and managing your own spelling lists. Hopefully you found the video helpful, but if you've got any questions, either email us on info at keystagefund.co.uk or you can visit the support section on our website where you'll find more tutorials, information and FAQs at keystagefund.co.uk. Thanks for watching.